What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. You're with Justin Henry, and today I'll be covering tight ends, one of my favorite positions to talk about. This isn't the glamour of the receiver position. It's not the hard-nosed running of the running back position, but it's one of the most vital positions for your fantasy team because an elite tight end can give you an extreme advantage, and today I'm going to talk about three elite tight ends and who you should be targeting at the top of your drafts. One of the big names you should be targeting at the tight end position for potential, especially, is Kyle Pitts of the Atlanta Falcons, who had an amazing rookie campaign. 68 uh, catches, he had over 1,000 yards, only one TD, but that still remains one of the best rookie tight end campaigns we've seen in history. So when you look at Kyle Pitts, who is known to be a receiver more than a blocker at the tight end position, you want to take the upside. If there's somebody with potential at the top of your drafts, Kyle Pitts is the ability to carry your team. I know Matt Ryan is out the door. Marcus Mariota is now in the fold, but Marcus Mariota does have a really good history with tight ends. He had uh, Delaney Walker, who had a Pro Bowl season with him. We saw De Darren Waller had a really good game Monday Night Football when Marcus Mariota was quarterbacking uh, nine catches, 150 yards, and, and a TD. So we know that he gets the ball to the tight end. I'm not too worried about the quarterback position right now. And Kyle Pitts' talent is immense, so he should be able to capitalize on that. Expect him to build on his rookie campaign numbers, especially when it comes to the touchdowns. We only saw one from him last year. After dealing with some injuries over the last two years, I expect George Kittle to resume his spot in the top three conversation when it comes to tight ends. George Kittle has been a little bit of an anomaly. We saw some success really early in his career, back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons. Didn't have the touchdowns, and so we expected this boom and just for him to take over this, this tight end space, and he hasn't yet. He's dealt with some injuries over the last two years, different quarterbacks coming in and out with Jimmy Garoppolo being hurt, and now he has Trey Lance. So the San Francisco 49ers are transitioning to Trey Lance, and I expect this to help George Kittle. He actually played really well last year, had a Pro Bowl year, over 900 yards receiving, a career-high six touchdowns. So yeah, the, it's still there, and he missed three games. I do think George Kittle will resume his status among the elite and have a really excellent campaign with Trey Lance there in the fold. Even though he's known as a blocker as well, he still has the receiving element, and I know this team wants to get him involved in the offense, even with Debo Samuel breaking out and Brandon Ayuk coming uh, as well. You know, the run game is, a, is very important when it comes to the Niners, but George Kittle is the main focal point, and I expect Trey Lance to open things up in the red zone especially. And you can't talk about the tight end position without talking about Travis Kelsey for the Kansas City Chiefs. The de facto tight end number one until proven otherwise. Six straight seasons over 80 catches. Six straight seasons over 1,000 yards. Multiple 10 touchdown seasons. Like, this guy is the real deal. And he's still in his prime. Only 32 years old. And now with Tyreek Hill out the fold... It, it's setting up for Kelsey season. He's going to have the amount of targets that he wants. He's going to be the de facto number one wide receiver for this team, even with all the offseason additions. Talking about Marquez Valdez-Scantling, the draft of, of Sky Moore, the addition of Juju Smith-Schuster. It's actually going to open up a lot of things for this offense and Travis Kelsey. So I expect him to continue to build. He's a cheat code. He's like having a wide receiver at the tight end position. And yeah, he's going to be bouncing back with an amazing season. He's going to be here. So expect Travis Kelsey to continue to be Travis Kelsey, tight end number one. He's the guy I would take at the top, even in the second, maybe back into the first round. So those are my top three tight ends heading into this fantasy year. And I left off a big name, the number one tight end from last season. Let me know your guys' thoughts. And if you would draft these three tight ends as your top tight ends, take advantage of the offer below and we'll see you on the next area.